Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting radical equation question. It is 4th root of 15 minus 8x plus 4th root of 17 minus 8x over 4th root of 2 minus x equal to 2. x belongs to real number. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. So I'll be writing three points. In pointers denominator cannot be 0. So I will be writing x cannot be 2. Second point, we have got 3 fourth root. So we will write this radicand term won't be negative. So I will be writing first point 15 minus 8x. This should be greater than 0. Second point from second radicand 17 minus 8x. This should be greater than 0. Third point from the denominator fourth root it would be 2 minus x should be greater than 0 only as equality cannot hold true. Now I will frame three conditions from these three inequalities. From first one I will be writing x should be less than or equal to 15 over 8 slightly less than 2 from this inequality. From second inequality I will write x should be less than or equal to 17 over 8, slightly greater than 2. And from third condition, I will write x should less than 2. Equality won't be there. Now I have to consider the intersection of these three. So I will be getting x should be less than or equal to 15 over 8. This is our ultimate domain. That means our answer should lie minus infinity to 15 over 8. In this interval, we should have our answer. Now I will cross multiply our denominator to RHS. So let me write here fourth root of 15 minus 8x plus fourth root of 17 minus 8x equal to 2 times fourth root of 2 minus x. Now I will use substitution. I will consider the first radical term. This whole term is A. Second whole term I will consider as B. Once this is A, so I will be writing A power 4. This value will be equal to 15 minus 8x. Similarly, B power 4, I will write 17 minus 8x and if I will add both I will get a power 4 plus b power 4 this value will be equal to 32 minus 16x. Now come to our RHS see this side only. So here 2 can be written as 4th root of 16 and rest is unchanged 4th root of 2 minus x. Now fourth root, fourth root, so I can take the product. I can consider the multiplication in both the radicands. So it would be fourth root of 16 times 2 minus x. Or it would be fourth root of 32 minus 16x. Now you can see it is 32 minus 16x. So I will frame in terms of a and b a plus b equal to fourth root of a power 4 plus b power 4. a plus b this value plus this value equal to fourth root of a power 4 plus b power 4. Let me write here a plus b equal to fourth root of a power 4 plus b power 4. Now consider fourth power to both sides. So this will become a plus b whole power 4 equal to a power 4 plus b power 4. Now expansion will come, Pascal triangle will come. So let me consider Pascal triangle for our coefficients power 4. For power 2 it is 1 2 1. For power 3 1 3 3 1. And for power 4 which is required 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Now I will expand 
binomial expansion in LHS, this side. So let's write a power 4 plus coefficient is 4, 4 a cube b, coefficient is 6, 6 a square b square, coefficient is 4 now, 4 a b cube, coefficient is 1 that means b power 4 and RHS I will be writing a power 4 plus b power 4. Now we can cancel a power 4 plus b power 4 both sides and I will take a b common yes so I can take a b common so if I will take a b common then it would be in bracket 4 a square plus 4 b square plus 6 a b equal to 0. Now from this equation f dot g dot h equal to 0 we can conclude a equal to 0 one equation. Second equation b equal to 0. Third equation this bracket equal to 0. So 4a square plus 4b square plus 6ab equal to 0. Now you can check a and b both values are positive. a is positive as per our this was a. a is always positive for truth for real solution. b is always positive. So I can write the third equation. This equation let me write here 4a square plus b square equal to minus 6 a b. Now you can see sum of two squares numbers are positive already and I am getting my result negative. So this will generate complex solution. So we will reject the third equation as it is generating complex solution. So rejected. So only left equations are a equal to 0 and b equal to 0. Let's solve both. So I will write a equal to 0. What was a? a was 4th root of 15 minus 8x. Okay. Now I will consider a power 4 from here. It would be 15 minus 8x. Consider 4th power to both sides. So I can write here a power 4 will be also 0. Taking 4th power. So 15 minus 8x equal to 0. Add 8x to both sides. 15 equal to 8x. Divide both sides with 8. I will write my answer. x is equal to 15 over 8. Which will be, if you will check this decimal value, it is 1.875. Now come to b equal to 0 equation. I will write b equal to 0. So from here b was 4th root of 17 minus 8x. Consider power 4 to both sides b4 equal to 17 minus 8x. So if b equal to 0 that means we can write b power 4 should also be 0 b power 4 is 17 minus 8x equal to 0. Add 8x to both sides. So 17 will be equal to 8x. Divide both sides with 8. So x ultimately will come out 17 over 8. Is this solution acceptable? As per our domain, it was x should be less than or equal to 15 over 8. But this value is greater than 15 over 8. So we will reject this solution. As it will generate complex solutions. So only solution which we will accept that is x is equal to 15 over 8. If you want to verify then we can verify from this equation. See it is 
fourth root of 15 minus 8x. So 15 minus 15. Done. Plus fourth root of 17 minus 8x. So 17 minus 15. Over. Denominator is fourth root of 2 minus x. So I will write 2 minus 15 over 8. Now this value is 0. Second value is fourth root of 2. Denominator will be if you will take LCM, it would be 16 minus 15. So 1 over 8. Fourth root of 1 over 8. Now if you will write this one, so it is fourth root of 2. And if I, I will write this one as, then it is 8 power 1 by 4. So I can write 2 power. Let me write in the denominator. I will write 8 power negative 1 by 4. Now in further calculation we can write it is 4th root of 2 divided by 2 raised to the power minus 3 over 4. In next step you will be writing 2 power 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. Bases are same and using division property of exponent we can write 2 power 4 over 4. So this value will be 2 which is our RHS. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.